大家好，我系香港赌神演员周润发。You may also know me as the martial arts master Master Lee in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, or you might know me as the king in Anna and the King. If you haven't heard of these movies before, then please ask your parents because they'll think I'm famous. <laughs> Today I want to show you some magic. Arthur C. Clarke once wrote that any technology sufficiently sophisticated is indistinguishable from magic. Card tricks? It's not magic. This, this is magic. Because I am not Yun Fat. I, I am, am a deep fake. fake. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Good day, everyone. My name is Gary. Deepfake technology uses machine learning to train a computer to recognize. People's faces. First, what I did was I created a destination video, and this is the video where I act out、uh, what I'd like Mr. Chow to say and do. 大家好，我系香港赌神演员周润发。And then I found pictures and videos of Mr. Chow online. I wanted to make sure that these. Pictures and these videos—they、uh, were very clear images of his face, and that the camera positions were very similar to my destination video. Next, I extract all the images of our faces from both the source video and the destination video to isolate the faces. The next part is the training, and this process can take a couple of days. But what is the computer doing during this time? First, it gets a picture of Mr. Chow's original photo. Then it works out an algorithm to draw his face without copying each pixel directly. This is kind of like looking at a photo and then covering it up and then drawing it again. And the computer does the same thing with my face. It looks at the destination photo and then it works out an algorithm to draw my face. And finally, the computer uses a picture from the destination video and then tries to draw Mr. Chow's face instead of my own. And then the AI will continuously evaluate how closely this final image resembles the source image. This process repeats itself hundreds of thousands of iterations, with each iteration improving upon the last until the machine learning algorithm has made a reliable solution to replacing my face with that of Mr. Chow's. Today I want to show you some magic. Today I want to show you some magic. Deepfake technology has some great applications in the world of entertainment. In a pandemic, it can reduce the amount of travel that an actor needs to do, because the performers can readily replace each other's faces、uh, on another character. We can even turn back the clock for some actors and make them appear as a younger version of themselves. Hi, well, sir. Yeah, I'm waiting for a flight, and it says it's delayed, but there's no ETA. Deep faking can reduce production times by making it less important for a film to make the perfect take each time, because technology can enhance, amend, or replace performances with just a little time. And finally. Actors can be kept safely away from dangerous stunts while keeping the illusion that they are taking part in life-threatening action scenes. However, as with all new technology, there are some major security and ethical concerns. With deep faking, a normal person can make anyone do or say anything, even if they haven't met this person before. Already, many people have fallen victim to deepfake attacks, where bad people will create fake videos of others doing and saying things that they've never done before, and these attacks on personal privacy can have lasting emotional impacts on the victims. Deepfake attacks can also have the potential to cause major international incidents.
Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. Deepfake technology is an impressive demonstration of artificial intelligence, but at the same time, it can threaten what we perceive to be real or fake. As this technology improves, we may not be able to tell if a video is real or fake. And that is why there are now new technologies like Microsoft's Authenticator tool that helps to verify the authenticity of a video. And in the near future, uh, it might be that all videos and images are presumed to be fake and that the only images that have been authenticated will be taken seriously. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.